minimally invasive in hemorrhoids. Why? Because anal cushions are saved, less bleeding and less painful. In hemorrhoids, patient has a three main complaints, bleeding, prolapse and thrombosis. For bleeding and prolapse, minimal invasive surgery is very good. For thrombosis, ideal is open unless well experienced. Treatment options in hemorrhoids, conservative treatment, non-operative treatment and operative treatment. We divide operative treatment into two parts, cutting and non-cutting. For cutting, MIPH. In non-cutting, suture rectopexy or chivitis rectopexy, Doppler or finger-guided hemorrhoidal artery ligation. Next is laser hemorrhoidoplasty. Last is hybrid procedure in which laser is associated with hemorrhoidal artery ligation or chivitis with laser or sclerotherapy. Principle of minimal invasive surgery in hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoidal plexus are divided into internal and external hemorrhoidal plexuses. The internal hemorrhoidal plexus are mainly responsible for the symptom of piles, whether bleeding, prolapse or thrombosis. It is situated above a dentate line in an anal cushion. There is an extensive anastomosis between these vessels. There is also anastomosis between internal hemorrhoidal plexus and external hemorrhoidal plexus. Once the vasculity of internal hemorrhoidal plexus is reduced, then in most of the cases, external hemorrhoidal plexus also shrink in size with time. Hemorrhoid is a dilated and prolapse internal hemorrhoidal plexus. In minimally invasive surgery for piles, we make this zone less vascular. This is situated above the dentate line, so it has a visceral innervation, means no postoperative pain. In Chivtes rectopexy, we create a shimic plate by applying a two row of circumferential stitch 2 cm and 4 cm above the dentate line. In laser, we create a shimic area in the region of major hemorrhoidal vessels at 3, 7 and 11 o'clock position. Chivtes rectopexy has an advantage because it act on the vascular as well as on the prolapse component of the piles. Advantage number one, it cures both primary and secondary piles. Second, it is effective in all grades. Third, it is easy to learn, safe and reproducible. Fourth, less bleeding and less pain. Fifth, it restores the muscle of treads, means it restores the suspensory ligament. While taking the stitch, we go from mucosa to a few fibers of muscle layer. So it takes care of a prolapse part also. Steps of suture rectopexy. First, steep head low and gentle anal dilatation. Second, five minute massage of each pile mass to empty the venous plexuses. Third, is put a chivate operative proctoscope and stitch in two rows circumferentially at 2 and 4 cm above the dentate line. Fourth is double lock each stitch, not too tight, lubricate the thread, guide the knot down, no forceful forward pushing movements of hand, only pronation and supination movements of hand. Each stitch overlap the previous stitch by 1 mm, length of each bite should be up to 1 cm, suture should be superficial, include mucosa, submucosa and few fibers of internal sphincter muscle. During suture bite, if the needle holds its position, it means it is through the muscle fiber. Now with new year, operative chivitis proctoscopy cut is not open in entire length. It is closed from downwards, so there is a no chance going below the dentate line. So the complications are almost zero with Shivte's rectopexy. This procedure has so much of advantage, then why it is not a talk of a town? Because it has a few disadvantages. First, it is not a business oriented. There is no money circulation. Third, it is by an Indian. Fourth, it is against the principle of the industry, disease industry or medical industry. No money circulation means there is a no patent of the instrument. Instrument is made, proctoscope is made very sturdy, long life. 
so no medical company will sponsor it they will not organize any operative workshop or routine workshop for this it is the only work of dr chivtej from last 20 years that he has established this procedure worldwide if we are not going to celebrate the victory of our indian heroes then who will he has first introduced this concept of minimal invasive surgery in piles so he is a father of modern pile surgery no cut is involved so this procedure can be done in a patient with on blood thinners thank you